Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is once again the man Bob Bob Black Wild Card. Welcome you to a brand new game. Only called as you can see Scarlet Hollow. This is apparently from what I understand a horror and comedy game, both two of my my two favorite genres in gaming. Uh, I purchased this on Humble Bundle supporting what's called the Moon Boy Project, as I've said that before many times. It's a truly wonderful network that you should always support whenever possible. It helps out veterans coming home from war, helps them readjust their family life, helps them with PTSD, helps them uh, get work, that kind of thing. It's uh, just a truly wonderful network that you should always support whenever possible. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll put their link in the description. And uh, I originally heard about this through Molly, aka Girl Rock Game. She hasn't played it yet, but she has it in her to do list. And uh, I was going through her to do list just to see if there was anything new, anything that looked interesting. And this caught my eye, especially when I found out I could use the support on the bundles for the board. Um, support the World Word Project on Humble Bundle and buying it. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, my name is Bob. Bob. Alright, nice. Philadelphia. It's the birthplace of mine, single gear station of all time. What's this? Oh, okay, I see. Yes. Oh, interesting. The chase unlocked additional pants. Okay, nice. Why would <laughs> she really go looking at your first feelings? It's like, yeah, this is this is me right here. Powerful build, if I do say so myself. What's this here? Strange than usually see friends of reality. We look not interesting. The gift of the pure street smart. We're playing it hard to lot to. First talking as you need people in the room, no door can hold you. Keep an eye. Observe it with neck. You pick up small details of the thing. Feel good and rational. Just some wealth left to talk. Huh. Okay, uh, I guess this and this. Sounds about right for me. Alright, so let's get to it. The jolt awake as the bus hits a particularly nasty bump. You feel like you're about, like you don't want to just manage to start drifting off and get here you are awake and yeah, still exhausted. I trust buses myself and your wife. Buses suck, they're such people's but yeah. For a moment, you're hazy on the details of where exactly here it is, confusing as possible with many others in the floor. But as your mind continues to research existence in the waking world, the past few days come back into focus. Long lost cousin of bad news, the 26 hours of bus rides with countless late nights stops and see dead posts that felt unsafe in the middle of the day. You wouldn't normally find yourself traveling like this, but your cousin bought the tickets. Oh, jeez. Fear of Privilege and Scarlet, your cousin's brother and grand, seemed like something you shouldn't ignore. Even though, even considering your own late mother's relationship with his side of the family. Fortunately, the end of the long journey is in sight. You're almost to the Scarlet Hollow. So, anyway, that's what I was saying. Oh no, he's still here. He's been sitting next to you the past five hours, talking at you without pause. You're not sure he is stuck, but you just start to doze off. At first, he thought he was just feeling friendly, but several hours of one, that was several hours of one conversation ago. I went to, yeah? What's that mean? <laughs> I was looking more and looking for work, but we missed him now because I was a dumb team. Me and my buddies were doing the usual prank stuff, you know, pushing jobs into the hog, that kind of thing. I know, right? I know, right? <laughs> Why are you talking to me? 
Huh. Huh. Wow, first choice already. So save. Um, I don't want to be too rude. Wait, what? Yeah, you know, it's in stuff. So the skills can also say, sure you just press down the how she can call call capture but here's the ladies. Oh jeez. She actually hit my friend and he said if you're about so I guess he she really was made and that's just playing. But she gets free and soon enough she forced her bounce phones in the harbor on the ruin. We didn't even have to push it. We had a good way from the track. My phone got soaked and she couldn't call the cops on us. We end up hanging out all day. What? Okay then. Doesn't sound very realistic in real life, but why not? This is a game after all. She played my girlfriend after that. We've been on and off for about a year, so it's pretty serious. Though about five months ago, she tried to break up with me. Like for real, and two years. Can we get somebody you just want to kill somebody? <laughs> not here to cut someone down. Oh jeez, I yell at Tom, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I need to just say that. Oh jeez. Um. Yeah, I, I don't know how serious this guy is, so I don't want to be too aggressive to him. Um, yeah. Because for all I know, he might be hiding in the mug somewhere. Of course, if this is real life, I'd be carrying a gun myself. So I'd be able to defend myself. Because guns in America can therefore only the way. I always want to defend myself and others wherever possible. Smile and pretend you didn't say that. When did you get me? We were saying each other. So much trying to get you hurt that seems the person. Makes you want to do things that never thought they wanted her to. <laughs> I asked you couldn't kill that woman! Oh, well, okay, well, congratulations. Anyway, she's giving birth to her son right now, so I'm trying to get up to the view and be there for it. I don't really know if I'm like, into this stuff, so I might just wind up on bus to New York or something to say. Who was going to go there? Get your head together. <laughs> He's done that see it. This was wrong with you. Smart move down. He's still here now. No. No. Um. Hmm. Well, this is how I. Excuse me, Phil. Get your act together. Someday you're going to run to someone who doesn't fall at your bowl. Okay. The deal. Uh, all right, maybe I have a point. Guess then you could always be there waiting for me. Anyway, where'd you say you were ready? Hmm. We'll get hot when it be me and you. Why not? Let's go to the hollow. Oh, the hollow, huh? That's what they call the hollows up and around, you know. I had a couple of buddies who went up there to work in line. It's a coal mine up in the hall, you see, and there's always a job left to you see all the boys out around here. Whoops. Oh, jeez. No! Oh, it's him. Um. Oh, jeez. How do you do this? Okay, here. I never want to do that kind of thing myself. I like bombs where the other things probably got. I got just enough try. Yeah, I know, right? The black one. That's what. <coughs> that's what killed my great uh, grandfather. Was uh, working in the coal mines. He got black lung from that. Yeah. I haven't heard from them in a while, and that's what. Now I think about. Just so see if they're on Facebook. See what they're doing up there. Hope they didn't die. Looks back in his phone for us, focused off something other than you. No, oh, this is me! It was really me, you. What if you didn't get too worried without me? Yeah, he probably says without. But, uh, I say without because I'm a BOOTY SON! 
fucking man factor. You are such a fight. Okay. So you your rifle to his bag before freezing your dripping bag peanuts. Ah, oh, okay, um. The bird peanuts. Brown a gas station if you pass his back. I don't see any meat much, so I think you lose more than me. Plus, the drift of my bag, so I don't really care anymore. Tips sometimes picking a dialogue option establishes new facts, but they are interesting. Yeah, that's what I think. Screw what? Oh, come on, man! Yeah, first thing is packed in peanuts. Didn't know we were supposed to buy turning out free protein. Took the one piece from a stranger. It's been several hours which you had since you've had any protein, which is several hours too many in your book. Indeed. Ted to me immediately, and I haven't told you to move the shelves each year. This two fistfuls of the soft meat. The females are all gone. I figured someone like you would get some good use out of them. Of that, I like you. Safe travels, friend. Just like that, strangers go. Then you can finally get some sleep. Next stop, Scott Hollow, end of the line. Almost there. Bus finally comes to a stop. It's very squealing as it deposits to you in front of the Scarlet Hub bus station. So it's the bus station. We call it the F-Fields Edition Genius. The best is a kiosk. Though for a small town like this, you're amazed there's so much as a road that I'm on bus to drive this line every week. The driver quickly sets the door behind you and starts the engine kicking up dust clouds. He pulls where he will review in this place behind. Can't even tell if this is a dude or a girl with his hair and his face. Hey, Bob. Okay, my bad. He <laughs> instantly recognizes one young woman with a few pop photos on her Facebook page. She's your cousin Tabitha. She looks annoyed to be here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's definitely what I would do. I'm so sorry for your loss, Timothy. Yes, yeah, great, thank you. Let's get back to your state. I don't want to spend any more time here than I have to. Cousin turns and questions for an old BMW parked near the bus kiosk. Father climbing into the dusty relic. Doesn't take too much time because the only sign of civilizations of the car you're in and the road you're on. Tabitha maintains icy silence as you host on the road. <coughs> Interesting. The dialogue options they will explore can usually be taken without a mess in the story. They can impact your relationships and allow additional story paths, so choose carefully. Hi, huh. cool. That's where I'm at now. Can I hold him up? Fine. I have to bother you pretty quick today. Yeah. This is. This is how I would feel. Okay, but. The only chance is I'm here for you, alright? Even if I go home. Sure. Jeez, I'm not gonna say this, that's just me. Man. Guess this. Can't believe I've never actually looked before this. Yeah, my mom thinks that. Or had, I guess. Yeah, I'm not right, that wasn't a say.
I don't want to be mean, especially with someone who is probably craving it. Hmm. I just want to know, I'm sorry, but... Is that their blood patrols? All I know is my mom left and she was married in this side of the family. But I don't know much besides that. So it's certain sounds we do because there's the car is left to the ground and it's steep on the road. And here is the Scarlet State. Let's see in bad days it's crumbling. Albion's is not lost on you, so you used to the current apartment in Grace City. Mother told you about this place many times before you passed away. Almost always would an anger burn beneath the words. Oh jeez. Fade majesty you once imagined doesn't compare, quite compare with what's in front of you. A shining burn of opulence and ruin. As you stare at perched on the crumbling cliffside, you can't help but feel like it's come, like it's something that's been left to rot long, a long, long time ago. A long, long time ago. That reminds me of uh, the opening of um, American Pie. Master voice by John McLean and my own. Uh, tribute to it, as well as tribute to Undertale, Butterscotch Pie opens up the same way. I'll put the links to both in the description. Hit with a burst of dusty air as you step across the threshold into the foyer. Everything in this room has been here for much longer than you've been alive. Each object's meant in place with layers of dust and cobwebs. You hear the doors creak on their hinges, the, the aches and moans of ancient floorboard as the house itself sways in the wind. And welcome to our family's humble state. Unfortunately, due to the current state of the house, only a few rooms will be accessible during your stay. I heart sees. I wouldn't be wandering anywhere if you value your limbs before it's been known to give out. If you know it's good for you, you stick to your room, bathroom, the kitchen, and the hallways, I guess. Not only the hallways, you need to use to get to those places. I'll show you where around so you know where it's safe to walk. You can use your bags here from the time being. I don't even know what the Bloomer State is. Like. It's beautiful, dude. This place is falling apart. I thought we were all low. You can't afford to fix this stuff. That's just mean. I I do find it beautiful because it's like uh, it's uh it's like a something out of a horror movie. I love horror, as I said. It's beautiful. It is. The estate was a prized jewel of the region for a long time. It's quite a magnificent piece of architecture even now. Let's get this tour over with. Follow me. <laughs> Put your bags down and follow the through, through a long, dusty hallway. The dog can be steps over holes and tears in the, and tears in the floor. You do the best to trace your sticks. Kitchen, all men say a woman from town comes in and does a cleaning. Her name is Jamie. I only recommend socializing with her. Just tuck your ear off. If you need food, there's fixing for peanut butter and jelly. Okay, so don't touch my mac and cheese or my ice cream. Those are all limits. Don't eat your. Oh, right, nice. Got it. I'm an avid gardener myself in real life. <coughs> In fact, I have a, a, my own personal variety of hot peppers. That's what I mainly garden is hot peppers because I make hot sauces from them. Uh, two different species of hot pepper had crossbred at one point, and I completely by accident, I guess, either be gone from one flower to another flower in two different plants, or maybe it was wind or something, but I wasn't even trying for it. And I've been harvesting them, uh, harvesting the seeds from that pepper and planting them for a few years now. It's a very rewarding experience gardening. I definitely recommend it if you get a chance, ladies and gentlemen. 
No, you can actually go in through here, but it's pretty wild, so I wouldn't if I were you. Tips some explore options prevent you from taking others. Choose carefully. <laughs> someone cleans this place up, please. You said someone actually cleans this place up, obviously. This is so nice, it's nice. Why, wow, it's perfect. I'll throw out PB and J, or Papa Bravo and Julius in military fanatics. I pride myself on military fanatics knowledge, even though I'm not part of the military yet. Yet, being the operative word, I've never been part of the military, where there's a demon crap unlawfully in office, but that's another story for another time. Hi. Um, hmm. Let's see here. Yeah, um, I'm on some of the other PB and J this week. So something, something in town we can go together. Why aren't you fancy? Yeah, there's a general store. There's also a diner. I usually order my food in bulk online, that's why I'm becoming with you. Yeah, general store. That's cool. General store? How folksy? Is it? It's the store that fills your general shop needs. General store just describes what it is. I guess. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Um. I think it's nice. It's nice. It's a kitchen. Interesting. It's that. Show off the other things. Oh, what if I want ice cream? What if I want ice cream? You can buy yourself the general store. Touch my slash on though. There will be consequences. Right, chill face! Do you save high school? Alright, so... Awesome, I love PJ. How do you know what's one of my favorites? That smile cannot be real. What the green part is a smile? <laughs> I didn't, but good for you. Alright, chill. I uh, was next to the toilet. Bathroom, follow me. Great, it's been hours since I've gone. Soon you leave the kitchen and test tuxedo cats sitting on the countertop. Hmm. Yeah, because Peyton, you don't know if that could. that might. cat has rabies or something. Is um, that your cat? What's the thing? Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. I guess the test begins. Fru fru or fro 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 fro. I don't know. Do not try to pet her. If she wants to be pet, she'll let you know. Okay. Besides, so fault to have a supervise. So we move on. Bathroom wait. <coughs> Go out to get the full tub of the long dusty hallway. Maybe after a few minutes, it'll get easier to navigate these species. Probably for the time. But for the time being, if you're lucky, you might be falling through the floor. So, oh, jeez. Guess bathroom. Not much to sell. It's a bathroom. I'll go outside. Do what you must if you must. Oh, jeez. It is indeed. Reminds me of bathroom from Saw. The bathroom crap in the first Saw movie. Or oh, possibly even worse. Actually, no, no. It's slightly better because at least this one has toilet paper and such. That was just the ancient, dilapidated, huge-ass bathroom the two guys were trapped in. It's a wretched bathroom, piles of junk sit untouched in the corners of the room, history stains paint the floor. Yeah, I know, right? It doesn't seem like it would work. But, whoa, nice bathroom! <laughs> uh, okay, um... Yeah. You sure this toilet works? Uh, yes. Why wouldn't the water bills get paid if we're toilet first? Now do the business where you move on. Okay. <sighs> okay. That's the spirit. Huh. Who accepted the 
Here's his bathroom. Guess. I hope this is. Oh, jeez. Bugs scattered from the boys with the seat. Toys is toys, so it could be clean, but it doesn't see Jones is a good person that he, he decided he, to eat must enjoy your kitchen in your hall. Did I say kitchen I meant to call <laughs> Next up the guest bedroom. Let's stop on the tour, follow me. In the tab with a brief show to the floor before calling us his ways in the guest room. The room smells old. If you can click on that and anything happens because it's in bold and dusty, dust, border, wood rot has the all. When you can sleep in this place where you can be permanent lawn damage, oh jeez. This is where you'll be staying. The winds are fresh. I had Jane wash them last week. I had to enjoy a half hour rant about her kid getting turned to a seat. Very grateful. Closet is full of animal family stuff so you can't put any clothes up but you can use a dresser that should be empty. <laughs> what a dumb thing. <laughs> this is what why why dude. Um Yeah. So I have boxes and stuff lying around here. I can help you lower things around and fix the place up. Look, I appreciate the offer. Jenny Riley comes in last week, it's fine. Um. Ha. Huh. Yeah, who used to sleep here? Who used to sleep here? When? This place is a home, almost 150 years old. Many, many people have slept here. And they will sleep here. Carrying on the fine tradition of bedrooms being slept here. I guess. It does seem a little dusty, it seems a little dusty. Wow, sorry for not giving you five hearts to tough treat me, that's me. Sorry, I wasn't trying to say that. I guess I guess that one. Follow me, I'll take you back to the point so you can wait for your longies. That concludes our tour. I'm afraid I must return to my duty, so you'll have to entertain yourself for the rest of the day. Don't expect to see much of me. Okay, some dialogue after the long conversation to pay Okay, um... Let's go actually run the end of this chapter, keeping it. Do you want to do one? Please subscribe and hunt something back fairly well.